So this se this league, I decided to go Bone Zone. Last league, we went Lightning Arrow League Starter. This Affliction League, we decided to go Bone Zone. So a lot of you guys have been asking me, you know, like, hey, have you been liking it? What do you think about it? What's your opinion? Well, so like what I've really been noticing is that Bone Zone is fantastic whenever you have the big group of mobs, right? Like the AOE splash is fantastic. But the downside is the single target. And then, you, like, you, I mean, you have a couple skills that you use, like the Ancestral Protector um, and the, you know, the Wrath to try to help you, you know, with the totems for the single target damage, which, don't get me wrong, is good. But, like, <clears throat> you can definitely feel that Bone Zone is what, it, what it's meant to be, a league starter. So it's very important if you are a newer player, it's really important for you to understand that there is like two different, two diff pretty much two different characters that you're supposed to be technically playing in a league, right? You have your league starter and then you have like your bossing character if you plan on doing bossing. Now, some people, they don't plan on doing bossing, so that's fine. You know, you can usually use the same character to get to um, certain content. Now, like, Bone Zone, it will, it will have enough single target damage to do probably normal bosses, and if you have enough currency to do some uber bosses... But the thing is, is that you really got to play it strategically. You really got to have a lot of currency in order to make the build go single target, you know, online later in the game. But with that being said, it is possible, okay? It's just I haven't hit that certain spot yet. You know, I'm, I'm still sitting in the spot where, look at that. I mean, like, you're just making mobs explode. You're just, I mean, the, the fire damage with Herald of Ash right now is fantastic. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. It is a very fun build. It's nice to leap slam around and stun the enemies, and then they all just kind of blow up. And the sound effect for it is is, is phenomenal. It's, a, it's, a, it's like it sounds like a crack noise. I mean, who doesn't want to just be leaping around, smacking them, just going crazy, and just, you know, completely obliterating everything? Now, there is another downside to this, is that you need to know how to craft in, you know, crafting weapons. Um, so if you're newer and you don't know how to do that, um, let me know in the comments if you want a video on that. Or if you already know, then it's fine, you get it. Like, there are some skill, you know, some, you know, uh, builds that are like gym dependent right and those gyms the higher level the gyms get the more damage that you do well with this build yes you do do a little bit more damage as you level the skill gym but it is mostly dependent on your weapon so if your weapon is lacking your damage is lacking and you got to be able to know how to craft and make your weapon better that way you can boost your damage and another thing is it is melee and melee as i found like you know last league when i was doing the ranged dead eye build it was a lot easier you know i just ran around and just kept shooting 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 and just kept running around and dodging things and you know yada 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 but with this you have to yeah, you can run around and dodge, you can throw your totems down, but the thing is, is like when you're in a boss fight, you have to be able to still stand there and get a couple swings off. So there's a lot of like, so there's a lot of like swing, swing, run, swing, swing, run. I mean, and if you don't have enough defense, then, you know, you're almost kind of really out of luck you know you need to really have your resists uh maxed out 75 percent all the way across the board i mean that's that's really you really need that i mean i'm not saying that you don't need that as like the the uh, dead eye archer build but it's a lot easier to just dodge everything now if you like if you can't dodge and you have this build, then it's good because, you know, you're not going to get one shot as often. You know, whenever I played the Deadeye, it just like it just felt like one wrong move and I was done. You know what I mean? Like, at least with this, it's, it is a little bit more forgiving because you do have more health. You do have more health regen. Um, the health regen is really cool because, like, you know, you get hit and while you're, you know, regening it, it it's super fast to get back. Like, whenever I was doing a boss fight, um, I just kind of ran away a little bit and I noticed that my health you know went pretty much right back up dang near instantly i mean 
Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like, you know, so that, that is one nice thing. Um, if you guys want to see the build, we're getting ready to get into the build here in a minute. Um, shout out to uh, Ziz. Uh, this is actually his Bone Shatter build. Um, it has not been updated um, with the new Affliction League. I am using it from last league, but I really don't think a lot has changed with that except for um, the new um ascendancy but the new ascendancy honestly right now guys if you are in affliction and you are trying to figure out which ascendancy to go right now it's all kind of just tossed up in the air really and another thing is is like it's really based off of like who do you find first you know obviously if you find one of the people and you can ascend to one of the new ascendancies you kind of need to just go with whoever you find and then later on when you find a different one then you can switch if you want to but with how early it is into the league, I really feel like a lot of people are just kind of going with um, whoever they find first, which in my opinion, honestly, is is still completely fine. Yes, there's going to be mid-maxing ones that are you know going to be give you the most bang for your buck. But right now, with the league being so new, honestly, just run whichever one you get. And, and that's the way. You know, see if it's any good. Find the pros and cons about it and move on. You know, ch check the other one out. That's that's what this game is. A lot of this game is just play this, test it out, learn it, switch to something else. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's the way that the game's meant to be played. That's why I'm loving the Bone Zone because I didn't play it before and I'm playing it now and I'm learning how a melee character works. So that way in the future, if I decide to play another, then I will have at least a little bit of knowledge towards it. This game, the more knowledge you have, the more fun it is, I promise. So like I said, this is the Ziz build, Zizaran. Dude, he takes a lot of time. He plays this game a lot. He, he he very good content creator. I watch him. That's why I'm showcasing his his build. I, I think that it's strong and I like it. Now, the thing is that you need to know is that this build is very um it, it leans towards like solo self-found hardcore type of gameplay. There are a lot of people that play this game with you know, like, it doesn't matter how much I die, I just want to stack as much damage as I possibly can, which is fine. If that's the way that you play and you don't mind to die a bunch, then it's worth it. But this is more of like, um, I want to have defense, I want to have offense, and I want to try to get right dab in the middle. And the reason that I'm going like that is because I do plan on playing hardcore one day. I do plan on playing SSF one day, and I want to get myself prepared. I want to learn the way towards that. You know what I mean? So that's my style. That's what I'm enjoying. That's what I'm liking. You do you, but this is what I'm doing. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of different tabs. Um, level 12, it will literally show you what you get. And if you just go on with the the, the uh, passive skill tree, then you, it just keeps going out further and further. So we're gonna go to uh, mid game. As you can see, here's here's all the different nodes that you pick up. You go heavy into a lot of health. You go heavy into a lot of uh, um, two handed axes because obviously you're using a two handed axe because you can't use leap slam without an axe. And you're getting precise. So you want to make sure that you get more 40% more attack damage if your accuracy rating is higher than your maximum life. So you really got to pump a lot of accuracy with this build as well. And you want to make sure something that I've learned in my little travels is you need to make sure that your accuracy is high. Because if you're not hitting, then you are not doing damage. And this build can be very um dependent on how much your how high your accuracy is because i've done a lot of times where i've swung and i've missed and i've almost died so that's you really need to make sure that you're doing that so once you get the end game though or later into the game you this is going to be easy to get the accuracy so it's not too big of a deal here you get a little bit of st spell suppression which is nice and you know some more defensive nodes here um it, it's really solid i really enjoy it uh, if you guys want, you know, here's the skills. So whenever you get to like late game, whenever you get the map, you're doing bone shatter, you're getting fortify, ruthless, close combat, brutality, melee, physical damage. So it literally goes step by step on what you want. Determination, war banner, pride, and blood rage. You're getting your totems. That's where you're getting your single target damage. Your boots is giving you the leap, the uh, mobility of leap slam and faster attacks so that way you can do it faster which makes it really nice 
and then cast when damage taken vol molten shell life tap and vulnerability life tap is nice because then you're using health instead of mana and it really kind of smooths the gameplay out for you so this is it the items if you look into that so he's saying mid game you want the axe of however you say that um two-handed you're just getting you're pumping a bunch of physical damage 123 percent physical damage and honestly like this really doesn't seem that too hard to get uh glorious plate you know that's a nice one you're getting increased armor with ton of ton of armor because you're up close and personal uh you want to stack the resist and you want your spell suppression max life i mean this really it doesn't look too hard to get so i'm really enjoying this build if you want to if you want it linked actually you know what we'll link it for you on the youtube in the down there in the description that way you guys can play with it if you want but once again this is ziz Zizaran's build so i want a complete complete knowing that this is what he put together not me all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this um i had a lot of fun with this bone shadow bone zone is definitely super fun um and we're going to be using this to be you know getting a lot of currency and maps and a lot of currency with you know farming so i'm going to have a lot of fun with this until we get to the point whenever we want to start doing uber bosses and then i will be switching to something else i don't know what that is yet but uh it's still really early in the league so i really think that we got a good start um i'm loving affliction uh, we have a lot to learn with that and guys if you haven't yet make sure you hit like subscribe and notify that way you can stay up to date on anything uh path of exile and anything with me uh we do stream every weekend monday through or friday saturday sunday so and we do that on twitch as well so make sure you go follow my twitch guys check out some other videos i love you all have a great rest of your day and i will see you tomorrow on the next video let's go get it